Hello everyone, Dan at Ochika Bushcraft. Well, I'm out here on a nice cool morning, uh, which is a welcome change. It has been very, very hot. And uh, to have a morning where it's only about 40 degrees, just actually, it's, it feels really good. And I actually cool enough to have to put on my stocking cap to keep my ears warm this morning. But I'm out here doing something that I have not done before. Now, if you guys have watched previous videos, you know that one of the things that I always carry in my backpack, um, it's with me out here no matter what I'm carrying actually, is six mil 55 gallon drum liners. Uh, these bags have a wide variety of purposes. I've used them to make emergency shelters. I've used them to make an emergency poncho. And the six mil is very heavy. Well, today I'm going to use a couple of these to make a bed out here. At least I'm going to attempt to. As I said, I've never done this before. So basically you guys are going to get to see how this venture unfolds. And if it's a failure and that thing won't hold me, well, you're going to get to see me crash land on the ground. So let me take you over here real quick and show you what I've uh, done so far. Not much, just got started. Okay, so all I've done so far is lash two poles to a tree. This is going to be one side of my bed. Um, I've seen these built with a couple of tripods. I wanted to do something a little different. So I took two poles and I took my bank line and uh, made a clove hitch and then I wrapped it around the tree securing these two poles to this tree. I did about three wraps, and then winding around this way, I did three fraps, pulled it as tight as I could possibly get it, and then tied it off to the uh, loose end of my clove hitch here. So this should be plenty secure enough now. Idea is I'm gonna come back this way, build a tripod, and then cut out the bottom of a pair of those drum liners, take two poles and slide them through, set those poles down here on these legs and on the legs of my tripod, climb onto it, lay down, um, head will be up here, kind of against the tree, a little bit of overhead cover above me, and you know, together, we're going to find out if this works, right? It sounds good in theory. I've seen pictures um, of other people who have done it. Well, we'll find out if it works. And I weigh 225 pounds, so I'm not exactly a uh, lightweight who's going to be testing out the strength of these bags. So let's get to it. All right. For the next step, I got three poles here. Probably longer than what I need, but uh, it what, it's what was available, so I'm going to go ahead and go with them. i got three poles here, and I'm going to uh, lash them together using a traditional method for tripod. I'll start by making a clove hitch on one end of these... Uh, of my far pole here. Put that on. And that ought to do it right about there. Okay. And I'm going to wrap these around. I'm not going to worry about getting them real tight to start with because when I start frapping this, it's going to pull everything tight. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a bunch of this bank line and I'm going to cut it off. Just easier to work with. The spool's kind of getting in the way. All right. I 
we'll just start wrapping this around. A traditional um, lashing of a tripod is I'm going to go underneath the middle pole. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see. So I'm going under the middle pole, back up over the top of the outside pole, and I'm going to go around it. This time I'm going over the top of the middle pole, underneath the outside. So basically I'm just going over, under, over, under, over, under, and then reversing it back. This time I'm going back under the middle one. And over the top of the outside and then back underneath. And I'm gonna do this at least three or four times this is gonna be uh, holding my weight. I don't want anything slipping, coming loose here. I am gonna leave enough to do my frappings though. Okay. All right, I've got it three times around. So now I'm gonna do what's called frapping and I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna start winding around and underneath the cord. And now I'm gonna start pulling it tight as I do this. And I'll get each one of these at least three times. That one is good. And I'll go over the top of this middle pole and start frapping this other side, pulling it tight each time. As things get tighter, we got less room to work with. Oh yeah, that's good and secure. I'm gonna have some extra quarters left over. Okay. All right, I've gone around this one three times. So, because I got some extra cords left, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it around these poles again. Just like I did at the beginning, over and under. I'll wrap that one around this end pole twice here and then I'm going to tie it off with the tail of my clove hitch and that is going to keep everything nice and tight all right let's see hopefully you guys can see this when I stand it up if not we'll get you uh, set up to where you can see I've got this all lashed together, my tripod. This is gonna be the, the foot end of my bed. Okay, get where you guys can see. 
I'm gonna cross these two bolt back poles. Push them out. There we go. Now the one thing that I can say is these poles are much, much taller than what I need. Um, I could have cut each one several feet shorter next time I know. As I said, this is the very first time that I have built one of these. And had I started with poles that were too short, there would have been no way to make them longer. And then I'd have to go get new poles. Having them too long to start with, that's not a problem. I can easily saw a couple feet off the bottom of each one of these legs and drop it down. So actually, I'm gonna go ahead and pause you guys and uh, grab my little saw and take, take a couple feet off of each one of these legs and bring this tripod down some. I've got two poles cut off, cut off a couple feet, off two of them, getting the third one right now. Using my little silky pocket boy, works just fine. So I took a couple feet off each one of these and uh, that should make it much better to work with. I'll get that stood up here. Then we'll start uh, opening up these garbage bags and putting the bed together. All right, before I cut the bottom out of these bags, I'll give you guys an idea of my setup here. So, turn it just a little. Got my... Uh, Tripod sitting here, still taller than what I need, but for me, this is a learning process. This is the first time I've done this. So um, I'm learning as I go and uh, you guys get to see if I make mistakes or have to make adjustments or whatnot, you get to witness it too as I'm doing it. I got my tripod here. I got the bipod lashed to this tree that I showed you earlier. Um, I'm probably six and a half feet apart right now, so I may move this a little closer as I get it set up. So the next set, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the bottom of this. I'm gonna, using my folding knife for a reason, because I'm gonna close this up until I get down to where I wanna be. So I'm not poking extra holes in this bag. Now, on the inside of the bag, I'm going to open my knife up. I'm going to try to cut just, just the bottom here. So I don't want this thing tearing on me. I've got one there. One there. All right, I'm come back around here to the outside where I can see. Bring it right to the edge there. So that should be plenty big enough for one pole. And Other one I actually actually cut on the wrong side, but I'm gonna try it anyway. And I'm trying to be careful because I don't want any extra holes in this. Or extra tears that's gonna give it a weak spot. 
Okay. Let's give it a shot. You know what? I think it'll work. All right. I'm going to do two of these because one will be a little too short. So, same thing. Put my knife down inside here and then open up back in. side I imagine there's an easier way to do this and if I build a couple of these over time I'll figure out what it is but Okay, that was actually a little easier to just open that up from the inside. Learning as I go. Thought it'd be kind of cool to, you know, I, I could have came out and put together one of these and got it all down, figured it all out. But I thought it'd be kind of cool to have you guys watch the very first time I do this. So as I uh, have to make adjustments. Um, there's a learning curve, obviously. My tripod was way too tall to start with. I'm learning the best way to cut these. I just thought it'd be cool for you guys to uh, be able to take part. All right, I'm gonna round up a couple poles and then start uh, sliding these onto the poles. I'm gonna take my little hatchet. I've got my Grand Swarsbrook hatchet and make sure that uh, any sharp limbs or anything that are left protruding from the two poles I've got are trimmed down so I don't poke any extra holes in the bag. Got one of these pretty well done up. Shouldn't be any spots left on that one to catch on the bag. And this one here, still got a few on it. That should do it. Oh, one more here. One reason I like always having a hatchet with me it makes tasks like that uh, quick and easy. So I'm gonna try to uh, thread these two bags onto those two poles and then probably clumsily <laughs> set the bed down onto this tripod and then we'll find out. Either I'm gonna be laying in it or uh, you guys are gonna get to see a crash landing. So let me uh, lower you down just a little bit. Okay. Pulling the bag onto the poles. Number one. So far, so good. There's the first one. Try to get one more slid over the top.
definitely a process here. Okay, we got one through. Man. All right, I got one bag pulled up over the top of the other bag, threaded through both poles. Uh, I'm not sure the best way to do this, so uh, trial and error. Interesting. I'm gonna pull this tripod back this way a little bit. leveling it up now. This end where the bipod is secured to the tree, that's solid. My uh, tripod, I haven't got the feet out wide enough and my whole bed's tilting that way. So I'm gonna have to come back up a little. Yeah. Widen that out. By the way, it's starting to warm up out here now. The sun's coming out, as you can see. So I uh, had to get rid of the long sleeve shirt and the stocking cap. But uh, I'll step out of the way. And there it is, guys. One end secured up by a bipod to a tree. The other end on a tripod and uh, I'm a little nervous about this because I have no desire to land on my backside. So I'm going to ease on to it and uh, see what happens. Okay, my feet are off. It's holding all 225 pounds of my body weight in one spot. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, I could definitely sleep on it. It's comfortable, really comfortable on my back. And I'm bouncing a little bit. It's holding my weight. Oh, one pole slipped down here a little bit. My pole on this side's not quite level. There we go. So First time I've ever built one of these. Uh, the six milliliter trash bag will hold a 225 person with no problem. I put all my body weight in one spot. I laid out in the bed and uh, it's very, very comfortable. So what have I learned? Uh, number one, 
the tripod way, way too tall. Even now it's still way too tall because of its height, I'm unable to spread the legs out as wide as I would like. If I could spread those legs out wider, this end would be much more secure. Now my bipod, where it's lashed up to the tree, that is rock solid. There's absolutely no give to it. Um, I'm, I know that if I had a shorter tripod, I could shorten that a couple more feet, and I may do that, that the back end here would be much more secure. Also, now that I see how solid this other end is up here, this bipod, I can see where building one of these between two trees uh, would be a pretty cool setup too. I'll lay on it one more time before we uh, close out this video. That was pretty cool. Actually, I really like the way that feels. So I got two of these bags. Whoa! Well, <laughs> you got to see it live on camera. My tripod just collapsed. Oh. Wow. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> You know what? I want to set that back up, guys. You got to see the crash, but it wasn't because the bags gave out. It's because my tripod is just too tall. I'm learning as I go, and you're getting to see it firsthand. So let's do this one more time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shorten this tripod again. I'm going to go ahead and get my saw. I'm going to saw all three of those legs down again, shorten that thing up, and see if it doesn't make it a heck of a lot more secure. So give me just a couple minutes. All right. As I said at the beginning, this is a learning process for me because it's the first time I've ever done it. And uh, I shortened up my tripod a lot. Now the legs are out much wider. And before it was shaky. Now it's rock solid like the other end. I also moved it in a little closer uh, so that the bed is just as long as I need and no longer. There's no extra, you know, distance between the tripod and the bipod. So let's find out if that solved the problem or if we're going back to the drawing board once again. Problem solved. Much more secure this time. First time these on that end were sliding up and the bed was kind of coming down. Not this time. This time, this time much better. Much better. And as I said, it's very, very comfortable. I would have no problem on sleeping this like this or putting my little thermarest pad in here to reflect some heat back up on me. And uh I could run a pole from the top of the bipod to the top of the tripod and drape my eight foot by eight foot oilcloth tarp over the top of me and lay in here and be protected from the rain and from the wind. Wow, that's nice. That's nice. Oh yeah. So, very cool. First time I've ever done something like that and uh, figured out what the problems were. Got at least, I think for the most part, the glitches out. The only other thing I would say, and it's probably because um, 225 pounds, if I were to go back and redo this, I would use a little bit bigger round poles for my bed. These have a little bit more um, give to it than what I would like. A lighter person. I think would be just fine, but uh, that thing is cool. I like that. That is comfortable, and uh, you know what? I got some shade from the tree over my head when the sun starts coming up. I'm going to enjoy myself out here today. Thanks, guys, for uh, joining me on this uh, first-time journey into building a drumliner bushcraft bed, and uh, hope you'll uh, 
stay tuned and keep watching and for those of you who haven't subscribed i hope that you like this enough to hit that subscribe button thanks guys take care